Hey everybody, welcome to Storytime with Scott, and today we're reading you the story of Batman and the Curse of the Gravy. So this is actually the best Batman story ever, so once you've heard Batman and the Curse of the Gravy, there's no point ever hearing another Batman story again because this is the best one. So let's get into it. So first, um, Batman was playing with his friends and noticed it was very cold, suspiciously cold, very suspicious. Batman asked the penguin, did you turn up the air conditioner? The penguin said, why yes, it was all part of my evil plan to make it colder outside. You see, when I was a kid, I, and bang, save it for Arkham Prison. I like it a bit warmer than that, okay? So stop making it cold. It's too cold. I don't like it too cold, okay? Got that? It'll make my dinner cold. I was about to have dinner, and the air con would make my dinner cold. Alfred, where's my dinner? I'm hungry. I just beat the penguin and that made me hungry. Bring me my dinner now or you're fired. Right away, sir. Alfred Pennyworth walked very slowly. You do realize that I'm 94. I cook for you, clean up your bat mess, build your cars, jets, suits, and weapons. I even raised you from a small boy into the crime fighting whatever you are today. I suppose I deserve some respect. What did you say to me? I'm Batman. Yeah, I'm Batman. Hmm, Batman said. There's something wrong with this hot dog. I am the world's greatest detective. Come on, Batman, think. There's no gravy. What happened to the gravy? Alfred, Alfred. Get up, Alfred. There's no gravy. Just at that exact moment, the TV weather news, uh, sorry, the TV weather report came on. The clouds are turning brown. Experts say that they're filling up with gravy. It may have seemed like weird timing that the weather report came on just then, just as the story kind of needed a weather report about gravy, but it wasn't weird. It wasn't weird at all. Experts say that these gravy clouds will black out the sun over all of Gotham City within days. It would take the world's greatest detective to figure out how to solve this one. All we can say for sure is that we're in for lots of trouble, and we're clearly in need of the world's greatest detective to figure this one out. Maybe a man in a bat costume or something. Gravy. Clouds. Gravy clouds? World's greatest detective? What could it all mean? What does anything mean? Why am I dressed like a bat? I mean, what's with that? Am I the dark knight? With a K? But I was never knighted. I don't ride a horse. I've never met the Queen. Am I the Knight with an N? Should I spell it with an N instead of a K? Knight. Knight. Hmm. If I'm the Knight, does that mean that I'm not the Day? Who was the Day then? I really am quite smart, aren't I? I should have been a detective. I'd be a great detective. In fact, I'm the world's greatest. It's me. I'm the world's greatest detective. They want me. They want me, the world's greatest detective. I have to solve this problem. Gotham needs Batman, the world's greatest detective. Alfred, this is no time to sleep. Get the Batmobile ready. This is a job for Batman, the world's greatest detective. No, 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 no. Batman drove off, his, uh, drove off in his trusty Batmobile as soon as he could. He ran every red light, even if he didn't need to, because he's Batman. He knew exactly where to start to solve this mystery. He paid his old friend, Condiment King, a visit. Batman thought to himself, It's bat lunchtime, but it looks like bat bedtime outside. Those gravy clouds have stolen my bat lunchtime. Where is my bat lunchtime? Batman looked around to see who was responsible for these, gra for these gravy clouds. Looking around, Batman looking around, and still looking, not right at this moment, Batman saw the Condiment King. But Batman hasn't quite seen him yet. Not yet. Nearly. Wait. Hang on. Nope. Nope. Still no. Now. Now Batman sees the Condiment King. If it isn't the Bat, the Caped Crusader, the Dark Knight or Knight, I can never figure that one out. Here. Have some tomato sauce. There you go. 
I have shot you with tomato sauce from my gun thing that's connected to this cable here that goes to the tomato sauce thing on my back. Take that, haha. -ha. But I don't need any tomato sauce right now. I'm not even eating my bat pie. Did you make the gravy clouds? Gravy is a condiment and you're the condiment king. These gravy clouds have stopped me from eating my bat lunch. Oh, and Gotham is in danger or something. Why did you make the gravy clouds? You've gone batty. I didn't make the gravy clouds. I'm as upset as you about, sorry, I'm as upset about this as you, but I may be able to help. I can tell you how to fix the gravy clouds, but first you need to know the entire history of gravy, the entire history. This will take 3.14 hours. Do you know what gravy actually is? Have you ever asked the question? You start with a cow and you boil it. You basically put it into a pot and just boil it until you're gravy. That's gravy. That's how you get gravy. See, gravy. Gravy is basically just a boiled cow. I can't remember if there's uh, any more to it, but there's a gravy. So tasty. Tasty, salty gravy. Gravy can go on potatoes. Mmm, gravy. So salty. Gravy has a salty flavor. Gravy can go on meat. Mmm, gravy. So salty. And too much salt can raise your blood pressure and make you angry. Remember that for later. Too much salt can make you angry. There's KFC gravy. We don't talk about this one. Never talk about this one. Shh. Nope. Don't talk about this one. You can even put gravy on this, whatever this is. What is that? Cereal? Is that cereal? Gravy on cereal? Corn? Gravy on corn? But mmm, gravy. Salty gravy. And too much salt can make you angry. But then there's hot gravy. Do you know what happens to gravy when it gets too hot? No, you don't. Because I'm the condiment king and you're not. You're Batman and I'm the condiment king. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. When gravy gets too hot, something happens to it. It gets hotter and hotter until it turns into a steam. All that's left in the pot is just messy brown and black stuff. It's very hard to clean. I've tried soap. That's about it. I've tried soap. I've also tried soaking it. It takes a very long time to clean. But do you know where all of the gravy went? Gravy clouds. That means that clouds, that means clouds made of gravy. Not at that exact moment, Batman noticed a gravy factory. Not yet, nearly. He's totally looking the wrong way right now. Hang on, nearly there. Now, right now. There you go, he just noticed the gravy factory. The gravy factory was pumping out gravy clouds. But who would do this? Why wasn't anybody doing anything about this? Maybe this was a job for the Dark Knight, or the Dark Knight with an N or a K? But he's never seen the Queen. He's never been knighted. Batman quickly jumped down to the gravy factory, doing some really super cool bat moves and stuff. It was a long way down, so he kept falling and falling and falling, and then finally, crunch, Batman s swung through the door with his grappling gun rope and kicked down the door of the gravy factory. It's the bat, get him. I'm Batman. I can fight 20 of you all at the same time because I'm feeling angry. Maybe I've had too much salt. The battle continued. We can't show you this part because it's too violent, but we saw it. Dang, it's too bad that you didn't see this fight because it was probably the best fight ever, especially that backflip kick thing. Too bad you missed it. Batman had won the fight, but then he slipped on some gravy that was left on the floor. Can I have this gravy? Is that okay? I mean, it's just here on the floor. Batman turned off the gravy machine. No more gravy clouds. Now Batman can have his bat lunch. Mmm, bat lunch. Alfred, what are you doing at the gravy factory? Are you here to get more gravy for my bat lunch? No, Batman. I'm the one who created the gravy clouds. You see, you've been very angry recently. At first I didn't know why, but then I figured it out. Gravy is full of salt, and salt makes your blood pressure high, which makes you angry. You've been very angry recently, Batman. Gravy is high in salt, and that's how it gets its salty flavor. I'm sorry, Alfred, but Batman really likes gravy. 
Gravy is the best food ever. I don't even know how to be Batman without gravy. You don't know what it's like to be Batman. I need my gravy. How did you figure it all out? You really are the world's greatest detective. You do realize that your gravy clouds covered the sky, right? Gotham needs sunlight. You put Gotham in danger. Hopefully now that I've switched the gravy machine off, things will go back to normal. The sky was full of gravy, but slowly that started to change. The sun started to break through. As it started to rain, gravy, something weird happened. The gravy poured down and down. The sky started to clear up. Soon the sky was completely clear. Yay, it's time for bat lunch. But something else strange was happening. The gravy poured down over the whole city. There was so much gravy, enough for every bunch, sorry, enough for every bat lunch for all of time. The rivers started to fill up with gravy. It became a gravy river. Soon, every water source was basically just gravy. But the fish didn't like it. Fish like to breathe water, not gravy. And Aquaman started to notice his home turning into gravy. Aquaman, Aquaman was mad because he too had too much salt. What have you done to my home, Batman? I can breathe air and water, and that makes me cool. Well, I think that makes me cool, but I don't breathe gravy. Oh, sorry, that's my bad. I didn't mean to gravy up your entire ocean. Oh, well, uh, what can you do, huh? Who is going to drink up all of this gravy? I will. I will drink up all of the gravy. And do you know why? Because I'm Batman. And everyone lived happily ever after. Except for the fish, because they're all dead now. Thank you for watching our story.